Welcome to Draw With Me. I am Danny Gregory, and I'm not a cat lover. I'm not a cat disliker. I'm just a cat neither here nor there -er. I like cats, I guess. But today we're going to draw them. So if you don't like cats actively, good, because this is an opportunity to express your feelings about cats in your drawings of cats. If you love cats, this is an opportunity for you to express your feelings about cats. And if you're not sure about your cat feelings about cats, this is an opportunity to join me in trying to discover the feelings I have about cats. Crazy. My mic is pretty crazy. Is it? Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. How's that? Okay. So, um, Welcome to everybody who is here, and tell me if my mic gain is better. Mic's a little hot. Yes, okay, is that better? Um, here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Good. All right, good. Thank you. <clears throat> yes. So, um, welcome to everybody who is here. I see we have... Uh, Heather and Lisa and Henrietta. We have Aaron and Vijay and Myrna from Vancouver. Chrissy in Montreal. Christina the cat skeptic. Danielle also from Montreal. And uh, Grozagor. Kosha, hello. It's nice to see you on a different medium. Uh, Laura in St. Paul. And uh, lots of other folks. So. Thank you all for joining me. Um, last week we drew dogs, so that's why we were drawing cats, because people said, well, what about cats? And I have to say, I'm not, not only am I indifferent to cats, I haven't really drawn them that much. So this will be an opportunity also to explore drawing something you haven't drawn much before. Maybe you'd specialize in drawing something particular. Camaros. Aardvarks, Linguini, Leaning Tower of Pisa, self-portraits, medical procedures, fairies, chickens, or maybe you are open-minded about drawing and you don't have any particular subject matter that you that you gravitate towards, and so you love to draw everything. It's also possible that you don't draw things that much because you don't draw them. You think that there's something special about it. For instance, Stephanie, who says she doesn't know how to draw cars. Now, there's a couple of things about cars that are sort of tricky. Generally, uh, tires and uh, the length of the hood. But those are things that are basically a function of slowing down and looking. You know, and that's true of anything we draw. We have to slow down and we have to really look. And we maybe have to take some kind of mental measurements. Uh, we have to think about that. So um, that's going to be true of cats as well. How do we draw them? Another thing I think about 
drawing cats, and maybe one of the reasons why I haven't really gone out of my way to do it. I think cats have interesting bodies and body shapes. They have cute faces, but compared to dogs, they just don't seem as varied. I feel like you draw a chihuahua, you draw a bloodhound, you draw a greyhound, you draw a Yorkie. Now you're, now you're drawn. There's so much variety. Cats? I don't know, but again, that could be because I haven't spent much time drawing them and thinking about them. So similarly, similarly to um, those of you who are worrying, wondering about, about uh, cars, this one letter difference, maybe you don't love cars, or maybe you haven't really sat down and drawn them. So I think it's, I think it's, a, good, I think it's a good policy to take things that you don't necessarily love and to draw them. If, if nothing else, it will strengthen your drawing ability, but it might also help you to fall in love or at least see why other people like them or at least like to draw them. I think cats are also very, they're, they're quite beautiful in motion. They have very supple bodies. They move in kind of, you know, undulating ways. They are sort of slightly serpentine. But anyway, I mean, a cat sitting on a windowsill can be quite beautiful, can be quite a contemplative, meditative thing. All right. That is what I have to say about cats. Um, Catherine is getting uh, bullshit about it. She says cats are very unique and individual. I, I don't, maybe, I don't know that they look that different. So we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at six cats' faces. Oh, I'm sorry. What I wanted to tell you a couple of other things. One is, in my, my new attempt at being um, organized, I've spoken to you about this in previous uh, meetings, I am now providing a PDF in advance that you can download so you will have the pictures that we're going to draw from. I'll probably put them on the screen, but they may be small. If you want them bigger, if you want them more visible, if you maybe want to print them out, go to bit.ly slash DWM723. DWM723. What is that? It's not the code from Lost. It's not the license plate of the person who ran over your cat. It stands for Draw With Me July 23rd, which is today. And bit.ly is just a way of shortening all that. So go to bit.ly and get it. Get this little PDF, okay? I'll leave that up for another minute so you can do it, so you can check it out. I also wanted to, before we start drawing cats, because here's another thing I, uh, my mind is just racing ahead of me like a cat. Um, I wanted to tell you that I'm thinking that I don't really know how to draw these cats in a particular way. So I have a table full of art supplies in front of me and I'm going to be drawing and grabbing at stuff and doing lots of different things and playing with stuff. So maybe you want to do the same. I'm not going to draw with one medium, probably. I might respond to different cats in different ways. So you might want to think about that. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is this is kind of bizarre but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. It's a phone number and you can text me and I can text you if you text me. And the, wh why would I be sharing this with you? What, what's wrong with me that I'm sharing this with you? Well, I'm looking for ways to let you know about what's going on. Like for instance, this URL that, I'm send, that I mentioned down below, if you, text me, I'll text you this next time. Next week, I'll text you the URL in advance, several days in advance, so you can have it all out there. If I come upon something that I think is interesting, I'll text it to you. Um, if I do a drawing that I'm kind of interested in or that's a disaster, I'll probably take a picture of it and, and text it to you. And if you have something that you want to say to me, you can text me and I'll get it and be able to uh, know what you're thinking. So texting, it's strange, but write it down. 919-298-8117. All right, write it down in your sketchbook. And then if you have some reason that you want to text me, or if you want to know what I'm going to text you, that's what you do. Okay. On, we're going to get rid of both of those things. And yes, brand art yoga, you can text me. 
day or night, seven days a week, except for every Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time when I'm here with you anyway. So you shouldn't be texting me, you should be getting ready to draw, okay? 919 is the area code, not the country code, it's I'm an American. I'm a relatively recent American. I've only been an American for a little over a year, but yes, I'm an American, or two years. So yes, it's an area code. All right, so here we go. Let us move on to my desk. This is, uh, come on, focus on here. Let's focus, come on class, focus. This is, uh, this is me yesterday. Yeah, kind of sums it up. So, here we go. Let's get a cat up here. Can I get a cat on stage, please? Let's start with Catherine. Uh, okay, Catherine. What kind of cat would you say that is? Is it a, a Maine Coon? Could be. It certainly, it, it looks very cute and fuzzy. It looks a little simian. A little bit like a clown, too. So anyway, what I plan to do is I'm going to draw a square that Catherine is going to go into. She's going to fit into that square, I hope. Cats are, you know, they're very independent-minded. And uh, we'll see how she feels about, about being in the square. Let's see. I think this is a very beautiful cat, though. I mean, I don't think, honestly, despite my intense allegiance to dogs. I'm not sure that you'd see a dog that looked quite as cute as this. So cats have that going for them. And it's cute without being friendly, really, right? I mean, it's not a particularly friendly looking animal. It looks um, almost like some sort of uh, imp. I'm struggling with this already, as you can see. I'm struggling with even just fitting this cat into a... fitting a cat into the box. Where's Schrodinger when you're looking for him? Schrodinger, help me get this... Catherine into the box, Catherine. If you're wondering, as I said, we're going to try and draw. I have six cats on board. Guess what? Can you hear the uh, lawn blower outside? Yes. It's draw with me, and so therefore we've scheduled a leaf blower to stand outside. Anyway, so there we go. We have Catherine. Let me show you a bit more closely. For those of you who are wondering how not to draw a cat, here you can see my Catherine looks a little bit more worried than the actual Catherine, but that's my interpretation of her. Very small nostrils. So, literally the leaf blower is outside the window. And there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Sorry if it's annoying you. Yeah? Okay, so... I need some help from some other instruments because I'm... Uh, unsure about how to draw this so when in doubt bring in lots of art supplies that's what I always say
So I'm using these Derwent Inktense pencils. They're, they're my new weapon of choice. And uh, work quite well with drawing cats and other creatures. How's your cat coming? Sorry, I just couldn't hear myself think while those while he was out there blowing, blowing the leaves. Here in Phoenix, the weather seems to be going through a little bit of a transformation. It has been insanely hot, as as it usually is. I mean, by insanely hot, I mean a hundred and twelve, maybe even hotter. We had a few days like that. And uh, then there was some freak windstorms. And they resulted in lots of dead leaves that were then blown all over the place. So there you have it. Into the leaf blower. So is the crutch of these colored pencils helping? Are you more convinced that this is Catherine? I don't know. I think I might leave this, leave her here, just because I, I feel like I need to move on. Uh, I, I, have a lot, I have more to learn about cat drawing, clearly, and I need some more time to get into it. All right. Okay, so the photo reference again, for those who are missing it. Um, Morgan, maybe you could put it up here, but oh, hey, I'll put it up here. Okay, so there's the, there's the, there it is. Bitly slash DWM723. Okay, guys, let's move on from Catherine. No offense, Catherine, but you didn't quite inspire me enough. So let's have a look at Rodney. Come on, Rodney. Rodney is like a more kind of a clean graphic cat. I'm not sure if that's a breed, the graphic. It's, he's a gray, uh, he's, a, he's a monochromatic gra graphic cat. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, he, this is, so this is Rodney. Anybody knows anything about cats? Tell me what this is, what this type is. I feel like most cats aren't really a type. I mean, there's Siamese cats and Persian cats and Maine Coons and other kinds, but then there's just a lot of kind of cats, cats. And he's, Rodney seems to be more of a cat cat. American short hair. Really? Is that is that a species or is it is that just a couple of adjectives? American short hair. I'm an American short hair. Well, maybe that's what you were talking about. <laughs> and I refuse to be reduced to my haircut. It just doesn't seem fair. I'm more than a hairstyle, and so is Rodney. So, don't worry, I'll fix this eye. I know I botched this eye, something terrible, but I'm going to fix it. In fact, I said that I was going to use different things, and I should, because, because that, will, that will solve some of these problems that I'm having.
I think it might be time for some ink. I think, therefore I ink. So, this is Sumi ink. And I think Rodney needs a bit of Sumi ink. Although I may have used the wrong vessel for this. So this is Sumi ink, which is uh, super diluted. Quite like Japanese and Chinese brush paintings of cats. I've seen them before. This is this is sort of vaguely evocative of that, but yeah. A tuxedo cat. Come on, Thistle, you're making that up. The tuxedo cat, my eye. I don't know if it matters so much with cats whether they're a particular species, a particular breed, because again, they just they just don't look that terribly different one from the other. And again, my bias is showing. All you cat lovers are probably going to be writing, texting me. <laughs> what have I done? I've opened myself up to harassment um, by giving you my text, my phone number to text me. What was I thinking? Um, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking I want my markers. Yes. Uh, it's time to bring some, bring in the small guns, which is I'm bringing in my Windsor Newton uh, pigment markers. Right now you have six cats. Can't you see someone about that? I'm sure they can they can take care of that for you. Now cats cats can be very nice. If Sally Swindell is watching this, she would be appalled by my carrying on because she's a big cat lover. Um, Heather's good at cat butt. I like that. I should I should have brought some cat butt reference. That would be good. Okay. All right. So let's get all this crap out of the way. Okay. I feel like we've we've given Rodney his due, right? And we've certainly given you this reference image address for long enough. Okay. Let's move on. Who's our next candidate? I believe it's Ace. Come on now, that is a cat. It's either a cat or it is a meme. Do you remember that grumpy cat? You probably remember it. I think he died. So he's probably even more pissed now. So this is a cat of a from a different angle. It looks like the this ah, this could be another cat that I just thought of. Isn't there a cat called a Manx? Which is the cat that like doesn't have a tail? I don't know if this is that kind of cat, but it has very short ears by the look of it. Small ears. Can't necessarily always tell with a cat because they can uh 
they're very squishy, right? So they might, in fact, kind of transform the shape of their ears, like stick them up, pull them down, all those kinds of things. But generally, this cat has sort of a sideways football shaped head. Yeah, I like this cat. He's the most expressive so far. He has sort of snake eyes, too. Snakes have those pupils that are like that. So, yeah, he's quite good. Manxes have no tail, right? Mute, muted calico manx, says Heather Myers. Okay. So, I'm sorry, so this one is, uh, this is Ace. Now, Ace, was the name of my friend Tom Kane's cat. He lived for quite a long time. It was an okay cat. It was fairly good looking. It didn't look that much like this this particular ace, but um, yeah, it was it was not a bad looking cat. I seem to remember it had a lot of kind of weird habits like going next to the cat box rather than in it. Cats can do kind of gross things like that. I mean, at least they use a cat box. It's more than you can say of a dog. So... I think if I had a cat around me to study and to draw, I might feel differently. And I might draw it differently. I might draw better, draw them better than I am just because uh, it's just totally, it's just not a, I'm not familiar with them. I think maybe my car, it, the struggles sometimes that I've had with drawing cars could be due to the fact that I'm a New Yorker and uh, have rarely owned a car. Although New York is full of cars, but they're seen as obstacles, not things that you would want to sit and spend time looking at or drawing. These ink tense pencils are really great because um, they're like fine as colored pencils, but they give you so much more when it comes time to dilute them and turn them into watercolor. Really nice watercolor. Watercolor that's like relatively, um, yeah, Ace Raven has it right. He just doesn't care. He's like posing, but he also has that ears down look, which could be pissed so Marilyn has two cats and three litter boxes and two boys oh I hope by boys she doesn't mean ad in addition to the menagerie that she also has humans in there too yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of I mean that's like three bathrooms two cats three bathrooms I mean most humans don't have three bathrooms and yet cats insist on it see Dogs are just glad. They're just happy to give them, to take what you give them. All right, let's move on. We are moving on now <laughs> to Bobby Pretzel. Bobby Pretzel. Bobby Pretzel was named after Natalie Callback's cat, whose name is Bobby Pretzel. Natalie Callback. You know who Natalie is, I hope. Natalie is teaching our workshop on color in a few, in a couple weeks. I'm sure you signed up for that already. Um, I talked about it in the last week, I think. Did I? I'm sure I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't tell you about it. Yeah, we're doing this uh, 
amazing workshop on color and color theory and how to use color better and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be pretty great. You can find out about it at our website, but I'm not going to talk about it that much more right now today. Maybe later. If you want to know, if you want to know more about it, you could text me. I can say that now. You can text me. You can send me cat pictures, I think. This is a cute cat. A cute and unthreatening cat and s seems to be slightly bewildered too. Sort of like, what is going on? What is that? He probably distracted it with something. What do you think? Do you think he calls for some sumi ink as well? Or are we sick of the sumi ink? And we need to try something else. Let's try a couple things. We'll try some sumi ink and then we'll try some something else on top of it. Let's see how that works. I'd like you to tell me after this how you felt about drawing cats versus drawing dogs. How was it as a creative experience? Um, did you learn anything about cats, about drawing, about litter boxes. All my cats look a little pissed off or bewildered. But that kind of sums up how I feel. So maybe these are actually self-portraits through cats. Because honestly, being bewildered and being pissed off, that's 2020, right? It's not just cats who are feeling this way. 2020. Okie dokie. pretzel I have not captured the original Bobby pretzels <laughs> expression at all I've created a cat that looks like it is gonna kill someone could a cat kill someone very very large cat or a very, very small person. in love with these pencils. always forget to, to put whiskers on dogs, but they definitely are really essential cat stuff. Dogs have whiskers. I just never really, I just never feel like they're necessary when I draw a dog. 
but uh, cats seems like it's a really important thing. I mean, I know you never want to mess with a cat's whiskers. In fact, there's the expression, right? The cat's whiskers. The cat's meow, the cat's whiskers. Cat of nine tails. Cats are just the, a breeding ground for the metaphors. Particularly if you have three, three cat litter boxes. All right, I think that's my favorite one so far. This cat's name is Bobby Pretzel. Bobby, Robert, Bobby Pretzel. Okay, well now we're gonna come to our last cat of the day, Leo. That's a good looking cat. And I feel like this cat looks kind of like a dog. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what I feel about it. There's something about that big nose. Because that's another thing about cats, they have small noses. Dogs, nice big schnoz. I have a relatively large schnoz myself, so I perhaps relate more to them. This guy, oops, let me give you some more perspective on him. This guy feels also a bit more, I think it's that classic cat look with those pointed ears. Something going on there that's useful. One suggestion I would give you if you haven't done this, but are thinking that maybe later on you will do this exercise, is make more of an effort than I did to really make your boxes kind of square. Because my box was done hastily. And as a result, it's not as great a framing device for my cat drawing. Like I can't really figure out you know, like he doesn't line up to the edges of the f of the box as well as he should because the box isn't really the same proportions as the draw as the photo is. That's not a good idea. You know, it's it's like you you unless you want to distort him, which you could do. It's kind of like stretching. Um, stretching him to fit, and that would change his proportions, which which could be cool. It could change the look of him, the feeling of him. This cat is kind of cougar-like, too. Like a kind of wild animal. I mean, I think that is a thing about cats that is very nice, which is that they, they feel kind of wild. They feel more like animals. They're also, of course, big, big into hunting. And, uh, good God, this is, this is hard. Big hunters. Cats will fit in any kind of box, says Raven Suzanne. It's true. It's true. You can stuff a cat into any kind of box. Shoe box. Now this guy is, the photo is a black and white photograph, but I don't think that that's what I want to do with it. I think I'm going to pretend that he's a color. You know, I should have done this first. I was, that's actually was what I was kind of thinking about was that, yeah, that was that I would draw him in these big fat markers first and then I would draw my line on top but I forgot that I was going to do that
So I, I think, I mean, I'm just realizing that I, that I made a mistake in what I said earlier on, that, that in fact, these cats are, are all pretty different. And it may just be that I've drawn them differently, um, given them different personalities, but I think, they do, I think that they do have different personalities. The photos did, and I think my drawings, while not necessarily perfect depictions of the photos, which is rarely what I set out to do, um, but more, you know, just trying to create um, a variety of interpretations of a similar thing. I think that that's something that, that really interests me a lot of the time in drawing is to take a single subject, it's sometimes quite literally the exact object, take this one object and draw it over and over and over again, but in this case, it's more of a category. Take this one thing, this species, and just see if I can kind of just think about it differently in each one. Um, because what I would like to do next is add a bit of color. with this. And that's a gorgeous intense red you get from these intense. I mean that's that's a good end. Debbie cat agory. It's true. Um, Facebook user. These photographs stay completely still, so that's not a valid excuse. You're going to have to draw them um, as they are. Drawing from photographs. Not always my favorite thing, but um, like when you are, I, th I think we have um, permission during a global pandemic to draw from photographs. That's the best thing about the pandemic. Love this pandemic. Totally able to draw from photographs. I have permission from the highest drawing authority, the government department of physical reproduction. That sounds like it might be something else. Anyway, um, yes, we have permission to draw from photos because we can't go and see cats in the wild. Well, some of you can. Clearly, you have infestations of cats and litter boxes, but I am cat-free. There is a cat that every so often we'll see ducking in past our gate you know, so slinking along in its way, um, but too fast to draw, as Facebook user has just pointed out. Um, Hurdy gurdy, it's opening day. It is. You mean? Baseball has started again? God. I've been sequestered here for so long I didn't even know. I wonder what that's going to be like. Baseball. Without crowds. Without Cracker Jacks. Well, Catchers have been prepared for this moment for a long time, right? Catchers, get it? It's a joke. Catchers, they wear masks. All right, not a very good joke, but. <clears throat> Baseball. Okay, so. Um, Let's get rid of uh, Leo here. And uh, yeah, I mean, 
I feel pretty good about this as an experiment in, in cat, cat drawing. You know, it's, it was a worthy experiment. I hope you enjoyed it too. Now what about this guy? What, what should I do with him? These are these intense um, sticks. They're kind of like somewhere between chalk and pastel, but they seem to not be as smudgy and smeary. You see, like they don't, they're not going to smudge all over the place. And of course, they're going to turn into watercolor, which is really the thing I care the most about. And man, you can just cover an area with this really intense color. I just love these things. I feel like I'm constantly talking about them but that's because there there's so much to say or there's so many virtues to extol when it comes to these great things there we have it some cats and me yeah I'll fit right into that picture there I am me and five cats interesting um, good. Well, let's be done with these cats for now. So, I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. I uh, have been getting a lot of new art supplies, including these Winsor Newton pigment markers and these ink tents blocks and um, some other stuff that I've been playing with. And I'm trying stuff out. I'm going to be sharing some of these things that I'm discovering. Uh, I, probably, I might be doing it on our Instagram account. I don't know. There's just so many places to share stuff. <clears throat> so um, the pencil's name is um, Mr. Derwent, but you can call him Ink Tense. Ink Tense. It's a pun, not a very good one, but yes, Ink Tense. Derwent Ink Tense. Um, Ink tense, not intense. They're intense, but ink tense. So, yes. So, um, is it inter international? Is my number international? I don't really know. That's my number, 298-919-298-8117. Um, and I will text you. I don't know. Does, do inter does international even mean anything anymore? I don't really know. I don't, I mean, probably it does. I, I We can find out. I could tell you. Um, but, yeah. So if so, yeah. So if I find stuff out, maybe I'll text it to you. That would be a cool way of letting you know stuff. I find that texting. The reason that I'm interested in doing it is because I think like we have our phones with us, you know. So you grab your phone. It's like, oh, it's right there. It's not like email where you necessarily have to go and check it, and you get ten gazillion other emails. We don't get that many texts. I find. Maybe I just don't have many friends, but I don't get that many texts compared to how many email people. Because I, I have lots of spammers. Um, but yeah, so. That just seemed like an interesting way of sharing stuff, and it's also really easy for me. I can just do it in one second. So, um, yes. So that is it. That is where we are um, today with some new stuff, some new cats, a new thing, uh, a new gizmo to, to share with you, and some new art supplies. It's always fun to have new art supplies and to to sort of start to see how they blend together and work together. The pencils and the things and the these blocks and then these markers and then using pencils in different ways using pencils as cross hatching as you know pushing harder all that kind of stuff um you know kosha did this class called color pencils with a bunch of other amazing artists and i was just going over it again this past weekend and looking at it and it just reminded me of all these things i'd forgotten about um you know you take a class i'm sure you Hopefully you've taken a class at Sketchable School. And when you take a class, a lot of times, you know, you're in the moment, you're learning this stuff, and then you come back to it if you do, 
and then you suddenly realize like there's all these new things that are now relevant that was sort of interesting then you weren't sure how to apply them then you go out and you do other stuff a year goes by you come back to it and you go oh that's the perfect thing i need to do to add to this new thing that i've learned and developed since then so that's i think one of the most fun things about art making and drawing is is that it's this constant discovery and rediscovery and reapplication and reintegration and recombination um, of things that make something new and making something new is the most fun part of it so like drawing a new thing like a cat it's fun um, drawing the same old same old gets kind of same old and boring and you can then lose your um, you know your impulse to create because you are it's all familiar you know it's it's a tired old face but if you suddenly introduce one new element into it all the tumblers shift and suddenly it's something new so that is a cool fun thing um kosher points out that in the colored pencil course andrea joseph draws cats using ink tense pencil i knew i heard of it somewhere andrea joseph she's a genius so yes andrea joseph i know is also a cat person so let's see her draw a dog hmm? I'm sure she can. She can draw anything. Um, cats should be easier to draw. They should be. But they have something terribly wrong with them that makes them incredibly difficult to draw. No, they're not. They're, they're, they're fun to draw. I drew five cats. They all look different. Here's the proof. What do you think? Text me and let me know. <laughs> it feels sort of odd to say, right? feels cheesy but I like cheese so anyway I'm gonna go off and have some it's almost lunchtime and uh, I'll see you next week um, I think we'll just I, I think we're enjoying doing these like multiple drawings of little things and sharing photographs and we might do that a little bit more until we get really sick of it and then we'll go in some new direction but for now there's something calming about having you know a few doing knocking out a half dozen little drawings in the, in an hour Right, I feel good about it. Let me know again what you think um, about it. Cynthia says they're basically a triangle with other triangles attached. Hmm. I don't think I drew a single triangle. Maybe some ears. Yeah, maybe there's some triangular things. Okay, I'll think about that. Triangles. Maybe I'll bring a protractor and uh, a ruler next time I draw a cat. Horses, yes. Horses are hard to draw, Marilyn says. Um, horses, horses. Not their, their faces are freakish. These giant noses and weird eyes off to the side. I agree. But they also are fairly similar. So maybe we'll draw horses one, horses one day. Horses, a lot of people are interested in drawing horses. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll bring a horse in here to the studio. Or maybe six horses. All right. I'm going to arrange to bring six, five or six horses in here. And uh, we'll knock them out. We'll not, 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 we won't knock them out. <clears throat> we'll draw them. Horses. Okay. Cows. Birds. Well, we've done birds. We've done birds a few times. But we've never drawn cows. And we've never drawn horse butts. So thank you, Chew Wei. <laughs> you guys are full of ideas. Text them to me. Or not. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.